Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's have this topic, the basic rules of derivative. So for y equals the constant and to find the derivative, so that's y prime. So the derivative of a constant is always equal to 0. So if we have y equals 3 and to find the derivative, this one is equal to 0. Then for y equals negative 10, so for the derivative, that's equal to 0. And for y equals pi, since pi is a constant, so y prime is always equal to 0. So again, the derivative of a constant is equal to 0. Then for y equals a constant in a variable, so to find the derivative, so y prime is equal to the constant. So if we have this given, y equals 3x, so to find the derivative, this one is equal to 3. Then for y equals negative 5x, so to find the derivative, this one is negative 5. And for y equals x, so to find the derivative, since we have this coefficient 1, so therefore y prime is equal to 1. So this is how to find the derivative of a constant and a variable. Then for this uh, given, so y equals a constant, then x to the power n. So to find the derivative, that's y prime equals, so n times the constant, then x to the power n minus 1. So this is how to find the derivative. So if we have this given, y equals 4x to the power 5. So to find the derivative, so we have 5 times 4. This one is 20x, then minus 1 for the exponents, so 5 minus 1, so to the power 4. So this is now the derivative. Then for y equals 3x to the power negative 3, so to find the derivative, so negative 3 times 3, that's negative 9. Then x, so minus 1 for the exponent, so negative 3, negative 1, so the exponent is negative 4. So this is now the derivative. Then for y equals x to the power 4, so to find the derivative, so this is 1, so 4 times 1, that's 4, then x minus 1 for the exponent, so to the power 3. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so if we have y equals 4x to the power 3 minus 5x to the power 2 plus 6x minus 10. So to find the derivative, we just need to find the derivative for every term. So for y prime equals so the derivative of 4x to the power 3, so again, you just need to multiply this exponent to this coefficient. So 3 times 4, this one is 12x minus 1 for the exponent, so to the power 2. Then minus for this 5x squared, so 2 times 5, that's 10x, then minus 1, so 2 minus 1, so to the power 1. Then plus, so for the derivative of a constant and a variable, the answer is the constant, so this one is 6. And for the derivative of a constant, this one is 0, so therefore, this is the derivative. Then for this given, so y equals uh, 3 over x to the power 2 minus 4 x to the power 2 over 3, then plus 5. So first, we need to rewrite this given, so we need to bring up this exponent. So we have y equals 3x, so this positive 2 becomes 
negative 2. Then minus 4x to the power 2 over 3, then plus 5. Then to find the derivative, so the derivative of 3x to the power negative 2, so we have negative 2 times 3, that's negative 6, then x minus 1, so negative 2 minus 1, that's negative 3. Then minus this 2 over 3 times 4, so we have 4 times 2 over 3, then x minus 1. So, 4, 2 over 3 minus 1. So, we're going to use cross multiplication. So, over 1, 2 times 1, that's 2. Then, minus 3 times 1, that's 3. Then, over 3 times 1, that's 3. So, therefore, 2 minus 3, that's negative 1 over 3. So, x to the power, negative 1 over 3. Then, the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. Then simplify, so we have negative 6x to the power negative 3 minus, so this 4 times 2, that's 8 over 3, then x to the power negative 1 third. Then if we want to make this exponent positive, so we just need to bring down, so y prime equals negative 6 over x to the power positive 3. Then minus, so to make this exponent positive, so bring down, so we have 8 over 3x to the power 1 over 3. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, the general power rule or the chain rule, so if we have u to the power n, so to find the derivative, so that's n times u to the power n minus 1 times the derivative of u. So if we have this given, y equals 6x squared plus 4 to the power 5. So to find the derivative, so this is u. So u is 6x squared plus 4 and du or the derivative of u. So the derivative of 6x squared this one is 12x, so du is equal to 12x because this one is 0. So to find out the derivative, so using this formula, so we have n and n is the exponent. So n is 5 times u, u is 6x squared plus 4, then n minus 1, so 5 minus 1, this one is 4 times the derivative of u. So, derivative of u is 12x. Then, to simplify, so y prime, so 5 times 12. This one is 60x times 6x squared plus 4 to the power 4. So, this is now the derivative. Then, for this given, if we have y equals 3x to the power 3, plus 4x squared minus x plus 7 to the power of 4. So again, using this general power rule, so u is equal to 3x to the power 3 plus 4x squared minus x plus 7. And for the derivative of u, so the derivative of 3x squared, this one is 9x squared plus the derivative of 4x squared so we have 2 times 4, this one is 8x, minus the derivative of x, this one is 1. Then to find the derivative, so we have y prime equals n, n is 4, so we have 4 times u, u is 3x to the power 3 plus 4x squared minus x plus 7 to the power n minus 1, so to the power 3 times du, du is 9x to the power 2 plus 8x minus 1. Then simplify, so multiply this 4. So 4 times 9, this one is 36x squared. Then 4 times 8, that's 32x. And 4 times negative 1, that's negative 4. Then times, 
So bring down this 3x to the power 3 plus 4x squared minus x plus 7 to the power 3. So this is now the derivative. Then for the product rule, if we have y equals u times v and to find the derivative, so y prime equals u times the derivative of v plus v times the derivative of u. So if we have this given, y equals 2x squared plus 5 times 3x minus 1. So in this case, we have two methods to find the derivative. So first, we can find the derivative, but we need to simplify first this given. So we have y equals, so uh, distribute, so 2x squared times 3x, this one is 6x to the power 3. Then 2x squared times negative 1, that's negative 2x squared. Then 5 times 3x, that's 15x. And 5 times negative 1, that's negative 5. Then to find the derivative, so derivative of 6x to the power 3, this one is 18, then x minus 1 for the exponent to the power 2. Then minus this 2x to the power 2, so 2 times 2, this one is 4x minus 1 to the power 1. Then plus this 15x, that's 15. So this is now the derivative. Then to find this derivative using this product rule, so from the given y equals 2x squared plus 5 times 3x minus 1. So in the given, this is u and this is v. So u is 2x squared plus 5. And for the derivative of u, so derivative of 2x squared, this one is 4x. Then v, that's 3x minus 1. And for the derivative of v, so derivative of 3x, this one is 3. Then substitute now the values using this formula. So y prime equals u. u is 2x squared plus 5 times dv and dv is 3. Then plus v, v is 3x minus 1 times du, du is 4x. Then simplify, so y prime, so multiply, this one is 6x squared plus 15. Then plus, that's uh, 12x squared minus 4x then simplify so this 6x squared plus 12x squared this one is 18x squared then negative 4x plus 15 so this is now the derivative using the product rule so observe that we have the same answer then the last one the quotient rule so if we have y equals u over v so to find the derivative, that's y prime equals v times the derivative of u minus u times the derivative of v over v squared. So this is now the derivative. So if we have this given, y equals 2x squared plus 5 over 4x minus 3. So using this quotient rule, because the given is rational, so this is u and this one is v. So u is 2x squared plus 5 and for the derivative of u, this one is 4x. Then v is 4x minus 3 and for the derivative of v, that's uh, 4. Then substitute now these values to this formula. So we have y prime equals v du. So v is 4x minus 3 times du. Du is 4x. Then minus u. u is 2x squared plus 5 times dv. dv is 4. Then over the v squared. So v is 4x minus 3 then to the power 2. 
then simplify so distribute this one is 16 x squared that's negative 12 x then minus so in this case we need to put the parentheses because this one is negative then simplify this one is 8x to the power 2 5 times 4 that's positive 20 then over so just bring down this denominator so 4x minus 3 to the power 2 then simplify so this one is 16x squared minus 12x then distribute this negative so negative 8x squared negative 20 then over so bring down this uh, denominator 4x minus 3 to the power 2 then y prime equals so this 16x squared minus 8x this one is 8x squared then negative 12x minus 20 then over 4x minus 3 to the power 2 so this is now the derivative